Hello, Irish fans, and welcome to Notre Dame Stadium, where it is media day. As you can see behind me in the north end zone, the Fighting Irish football team getting ready to have the annual team picture taken. Now, earlier this morning, Irish head coach Brian Kelly met with the media for about 45 minutes. You can watch all of that press conference right here, right now, on UND.com. And then after the press conference, we had a chance to talk with some of the Irish assistant coaches to get their take on the progress their units are making so far in training camp 2011 for the Fighting Irish football team. The uh, the position's improving. Uh, the, the A players are moving their game along. We can move on to that next level of, of teaching. Uh, sometimes there's a there's a re resort back to some complacency with the younger players or, or a kind of a survival mode into practice, so I have to activate, um, which we spent time the other day talking about. If I'm spending time energizing you, we're not spending time working on that next level of teaching for real production. So, um, but, but the position's improving. Uh, the Will linebacker shaping up. There are two players there that are going to be able to go in and play competitively and win their individual matchups. Um, we're working on a next man in, Mike. I'd say that that's the most efficient position at this point for a multitude of reasons. Um, and, and, there, and there'll be enough at outside linebacker uh, to have a rotation there if necessary. Uh, from the cornerback position, I feel like uh, like R.J. Blanton um, and Gary Gray, uh, guys that have a lot of experience from playing uh, last year, have really uh, taken an another step. Um, and in terms of, of being leaders for uh, some of our young guys, uh, Low Wood, uh, Bennett Jackson, um, those guys are, are, are not only setting the tone with how they practice on the field, um, but they're also pulling those guys to the side and coaching them up. And, and hey, you know, this is what I would have done, and this is what I'm looking at, and this is, you know, and all those things you know are, are awesome you know because as a coach you can only say so much and, and, and tell a young man so much but you've got veteran players um, their peers um, interacting and, and wanting those guys to get better um, so very impressed with, with you know they're t those guys taking their game to that next level athletically um, you know they're, they're as talented as, as any any group in the country um, from the from the cornerback position the young guys have come come a long way um, you know low wood uh, you know has been very impressive with uh, his understanding from you year one to year two and, and you know his alignments and how he's communicating and, and um, how he's, he's really being a little bit more aggressive um, so he's 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 getting to that point to where he's he's ultra competitive right now and we just got to keep pushing that um, Bennett has been uh, focused um, he's been intent he's asked a lot of great questions um, it's important to him to be uh, good um, he was a little bit behind because he played wide receiver last year um, and made the transition last spring so you know everything was was foreign to him um, but the there's definitely improvement. A very competitive young man, um, and again, he's he's working his butt off to catch up to and, and get to the level of where Low is and where Gary is and where RJ is. And you know, it'll take some time for him, but but you can definitely see that he's coming. Well, I, I think we're making a lot of strides, especially you know we've we've kind of put an emphasis this week in practice on uh, our attached formations and and being more physical at the point of attack. And I think I've seen some really remarkable improvement in our guys' ability to be consistent with what they do uh, when we're running the football. And that's something that we really haven't done a nice job of here over the course of the last year. So I, I like the progress and where we're headed as far as from a physical standpoint of uh, being able to match up and, and get after people physically when we need to. And, uh, and we've continued our development, I think, running and catching the football. You're going to see us in space making plays and, and doing the things that a Notre Dame tight end should do. You know what you had coming in, but any surprises so far? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, unfortunately we've we've had a little nick and bruise with Mike Ragone the last few days, which has kind of opened the door for, uh, you know, Alex Welch and, and Ben Koyak and Jake Golick to kind of put themselves uh, in more reps and get more uh, experience and, and try to move those guys' progress along as quickly as we could. All three of those guys have done a really nice job and really surprised me uh, as far as what they've been able to uh, translate from the meeting room to the field uh, for not having as much play experience as some of the other you know the other two guys that we have in front of them so uh, it, all signs point towards uh, the position of tight end at Notre Dame being strong for years to come we're doing we're doing pretty well you know we've got some veteran guys Jack and you know my
Michael being back um, is, is great. You got Theo's played a lot of football. TJ's played a lot of football. As is John Goodman. Um, the guy who's really impressed, in addition to TJ, has been Robbie Toma. He's really upped his skill set. Very proud of the way he's come to work every day, and it's, and, and it's proven to us that we that, that we feel that he can go in and make plays for us. So, you know, the more guys and the more hands on deck that you can have, the better you're going to be in the long run. And and those guys have come to work every day, and and I know I'll get after them. You know how I can be, you know. <laughs> so I, I'll get after them, and um, they keep coming back every day and responding. So, um, you know, Danny Smith's getting a lot of reps and getting better. I think DeVaris Daniels has a chance to be a really dynamic player in the future. Um, and, and so um, we're, we're, we're coming along. I talk about the quarterbacks. I, I think the biggest progress that we've made is we have two really competitive guys right now at the quarterback position. Uh, two guys that uh, have reduced their uh, their uh, errors, have improved their efficiency as passers, be have become more accurate, uh, and have improved their footwork, become better leaders. Uh, so I think those those things are areas that just you know jump out at us. As far as the offense, I think we're more consistent in our run game, uh, better pass protectors, uh, quarterbacks are uh, you know taking what the defense gives, not trying to make the big play all the time. So just all in all, I think we've become a little bit more efficient. Has anybody surprised you over the course of the last two weeks? Any player? Well, I think one player that really stands out as a surprise is just a play of uh, uh, Trevor Robinson, our right guard. And uh, even though Trevor started last year, he's he's a different guy right now. He is he's become a, a an awesome leader in the locker room and on the field for the offensive lineman and really the offense. Uh, and he's just become so much more physical and mature. And seems like he really really has fun playing the game of football. I think that we're 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 improved on defensive line. We're working to improve our depth, which uh, is a day to day operation and and that has to continue to improve and then on special teams I believe that uh, the battery of our special teams units the the long snapper and punting is improved I think our kickers are, are improved and and I think that our our skills on the football field of blocking and tackling on special teams are going to be improved so we're working towards that we should be uh, much improved in all those areas you no know, they've really been a great group and they've been a great group off the field and when I say that it's really they're meeting uh, procedures, their ability to absorb information into meetings and carry it on the field is way ahead of the curve where we were a year ago. Their understanding of the intricacies of the offense is way ahead of where it was a year ago. Their speed of their practice time is ahead of, ahead of where they were a year ago. We're more physical right now than I believe we were a year ago. So you can see some of those improvements. Our goal now is to take those things that we think we've improved on and September 3rd show some of those. But there are a lot of little things I think we're clearly better better at, but we got to go out and prove it yet. That's why you go play games. Any surprises so far? You know, really right now, I think the surprises is, 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 is the mentality our players have come back with, the sense of purpose they have for the season, and their work ethic on and off the field to make sure they, they, they achieve success, because they clearly understand and have a purpose about what they want. And, um, you know, we're going to fight and dig for it every day, and I've been very pleased with the work ethic of this group.